So is there a connection between your work on the Mormon Women's Project and your work uh, for the Bonneville Corporation on the I Am a Mormon Project? Yes, and yes. I, and, so I, and I'm wondering if the moral in both cases is the same. I mean, there were some wonderful caricatures that have been done of the I Am a Mormon uh, videos, right? You know, mm -hmm. taming a lion while you're surfing and, yes. and you know, yeah. painting a, a portrait. Um, but, you know, I'm reminded of, of, of Brigham Young once, just a kind of outburst that uh, occurs in one of his talks where he says, away with stereotyped Mormons, away with stereotyped Mormons. Mm -hmm. And I know that I'm frequently, um, I'm frequently told in response to some of my own work that, that well, what you're saying isn't typical Mormonism or you're not, you're not espousing orthodox Mormonism. And I... And I say, well, I'm not sure that there is such a thing. I don't, you know, yeah. this this notion of this kind of homogeneous, um, standardized version of what it means to be a Mormon, or what it what it even means to to define the content of our belief, and and doesn't a project like the Mormon Women's Project give the lie to those kinds of oh, impressions? and that was that was the intent from the very beginning. I was so sick of people, you know, I mean, especially going to schools outside of Utah and spending my entire professional life outside of Utah. I was so sick of people thinking that they knew they who knew, I was right. and because of a stereotype. And, um, and, 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 but I think mostly, I mean, so that was my personal reason, but I think when I saw my friends and colleagues who were struggling to be Mormon women, it was, um, it was motivated by a desire to yeah, expand that definition of what it means to be a Mormon woman. Expand the definition, but also emphasize, as I was saying before, that, that the, the gospel is only a, only a value when it's turned into a tool for real living. And, and that is where Mormon women's stories have not been told. And so to, to, to see examples of Mormon women taking that gospel, taking that doctrine, and taking that church institution, which is defined as patriarchal, and having it be um, a sort of, you know, stake in the ground or a maypole upon which they build their entire foundation, I think that's, I, I've always felt that that's what's been missing in our portrayal uh, of Mormon women. And I think that the project succeeded in um, highlighting those those private moments of how that translation is made from over the pulpit Mormonism to to sort of by the bedside, yeah. you know, with the Kleenex box Mormonism. And 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 I I mean I yes, I was hired to uh, help with the I'm a Mormon campaign in part because of my work on the Mormon Women Project. Um, but as you say, the, the I'm a Mormon campaign was a little bit more of what I had experienced with my mom growing up, where we were taking individual sort of celebrity types and um, and, you know, using, pulling out cinematic or artistic value from what they were doing. Did you feel there was something inauthentic about that? No, no, I, I didn't. I mean, I really think, I understand the need for, for both levels of storytelling, right? I think it's really important for a community to have um, sources of, of communal pride, right? And, and it used to be, it used to be the opera singers and, you know, Miss Americas, and I'm trying to think who else was kind of on that, on that circuit with my mom. But today it's the YouTube stars, right? And it's the piano guys. And, and I think that's great. And I think we always need to have those kind of communal heroes um, that are publicly out there representing. Oh, in my mom's day, it was a lot of business leaders, right? It was a yeah, lot of, yeah. like, the Marriott's and... Um, Romney. Ro yes. But I think it's important for us to feel that communal pride and say, hey, we're out there in, in the world and we're doing good things and we're creating beauty and we're adding value. But I also think, of course, um, that it's important for, for something like the Mormon Women Project to exist as well. It was really difficult to go to the I'm a Mormon Project and translate that sort of I'm Mormon, uh, the Mormon Women Project ethos and mission to what they were doing on the I'm a Mormon Project. Just because a 4,000 word text interview about a woman's life philosophies and struggles is very different than So the translation wasn't as seamless no. as they might have thought. No, I I was interested in women's inner lives and those don't always translate on video into a three minute pithy right. right. Video.